So what's up guys? Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. it. So now I'm gonna take you through the whole uh, legs workout. So I started with leg extensions. Uh, I did around three sets for 20 repetitions, not too heavy, just light to moderate weight. I always like starting my uh, leg workouts with some high volume sets uh, for leg extensions. It just helps me to get some blood flowing through my knees and keeps me injury free when I'm going to the heavy, towards the heavier compound movements like front squats or back squats. So yeah, I started with three sets for 20 repetitions for leg extensions and then I progressed on to the back squats. So for the back squats, I did about four sets uh, by warm up sets, lightweight, uh, around six to eight repetitions for each warm up set. And after I completed my warm ups, I straight away went into the working sets. For the working sets, uh, for before the working sets, I did about 85% uh, of my one rep max for about two sets. Uh, I think it was about just one rep for each set just to get my neural system, nervous system ready for the upcoming heavier sets and then I straight away went into my working sets. So as you can see it's about like my 95% of one rep max, I did around two sets for two repetitions and yes it was a low volume, volume and high intensity workout. Uh, and then I, after completing my working set I tapered down the weight and I performed about two more sets for two repetitions uh, of 90% of my one rep max. As I said, it was like a low volume and a high intensity workout so I didn't really want to tax my nervous system uh, for the upcoming workout. And then I straight away moved on to stiff leg deadlifts. Uh, yeah, for stiff leg deadlifts I did about three sets for 10 to 12 repetitions. Uh, it was about moderate weight, not too heavy. Uh, and I was really feeling a lot of pump in my hamstrings and glutes and it's a great workout, great, great exercise if you are really lacking in those two areas it really helps you to get those hams and glutes into function uh, after performing three sets I moved on to one of my favorite exercises the pistol squats or the single leg uh, squats now I know not many people can do this uh, but because I can so I did it for about three sets for eight repetitions each leg and it really helps me to check my ankle mobility and the performance for my lower body uh, and I have really improved on my form over the upcoming over the few months uh, my back is arching not too much now and then I went on to walking barbell lunges and again as you can see the weight is really not heavy because I am already feeling a lot of pump and a lot of lactic acid in my legs and uh, going light and taking the volume a bit high was the best thing to do here. So I did about two sets, or sorry, three sets for two rounds. Um, after completing that, uh, I went on to performing the exercise for one of the weakest areas in my body, that is my calves. And um, it's just like genetically the attachment of the, uh, the soleus or the calf muscle that you can say is a bit on higher side so my calves look really skinny and I know that you don't need to tell me in the comments <laughs> just if you are feeling like uh, so I did around five sets for the toe raises on the leg press machine uh, for about 15 repetitions of course I did some warm sets before so I really focused on contracting the calf muscle at the top and coming down slowly uh, yeah, this is a warm set so you can see the slow part but yeah, in the working sets, I really uh, reduced the speed of my uh, repetitions. Now, after performing five sets for 15 reps, I did hyper extensions, and yeah, uh, I had a slip disc last year, so I sometimes I feel that my back is really on the weak side, so I perform hyper extensions with every leg or heavy back workouts, and it really does really help me out a lot. So yes, uh, this was the full legs workout routine. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and it was clear. So till next time, keep going, keep growing stronger. So guys, let's get straight to the point. Acne and bodybuilding. Now I know how frustrating and embarrassing it can be, you know, having those zits and having those scars on your face because I've been facing the same problem since my teenage, since my childhood.